This video will show you how to set up an airbrush kit. These instructions are for educational purposes only. Always ensure that the product is sound and tested thoroughly before use. Your compressor is where the air is compressed and stored. On some compressors, there is a filter attached between the compressor and the hose to remove any accumulated condensation. This will help to prevent water from spitting out along with the paint. The hose is what connects your airbrush to the compressor. It's always good to have a variety of hose lengths on hand so that you're not confined to a small working area. Just be aware that the longer the hose, the more condensation you can accumulate in the line. Airbrushes come in many different configurations and sizes, but they all achieve the same thing. They spray paint. The different airbrush configurations just offer you various paint control capabilities. Let's begin our setup. Make sure the compressor is connected to a power source. Connect your hose to the compressor and then to the airbrush. If your airbrush has a quick connect connector, you must hook that up first before connecting to the airbrush. Not all airbrushes have a quick connect option, but they're a great way to quickly swap out different airbrushes. When making your connections, be sure to only hand tighten so you don't strip the threads. A pro tip would be to use Teflon tape to ensure an airtight seal. After your connections are made, you can now set up your PSI. Some of the smaller compressors do not offer this option, but if you can control the PSI, it's always best to dial it in. There is not a standard for this as it depends on the consistency of your paint and your airbrush. A pro tip here would be to start off at 20 to 30 PSI and practice on scrap material as a test before you do your final application. Lastly, fill the airbrush with paint and enjoy.